Uh, hey, Terry, uh, switch a quarterbacks there mid midway through. Uh, what would you make uh, uh, Alex? And uh, yeah, obviously the first time around against the Rams, uh, he was a little rusty, but it seemed like he was yeah. able to, to catch the flow a little better today. Yeah, I mean, Alex is a pro. He's been in this league for a long time, and uh, he gave us a chance to win. He got us back in the game. And for a guy who, you know, wasn't taking a whole lot of starters rep this week, I feel like he moved the ball well. We converted on some third downs. Um, so I just told him after the game, you know, like, Looking forward to a full week of practice with them and uh, see where we go from there. Terry, obviously every loss stings, but what's your biggest frustration with this one? Um, just kind of kind of what happened the last time we played these guys is turnovers and you know, hats off to them. They they force a lot of turnovers. They make you drive the ball down the field, um, you know, take short completions and try to make something out of it. And um, you know, they did a good job of creating turnovers, but on our end we just gotta um, not turn over the ball and, and continue to sustain drives and also uh, score when we get down to the red zone. Hey, Terry, can you walk us through that touchdown catch? What 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 you saw in the play and what happened there? Yeah, um, you know, it was a play that we've been practicing. You know, it's been on our playbook since day one. Um, you know, I saw the look uh, where the, the corner wanted to grab the, the flat route on the opposite side. And, um, you know, I, Alex threw a good ball. He gave me a chance. He threw it flat. And I just wanted to meet the ball. Um, when I caught the ball, honestly, I didn't expect to be free, but, um, you know, I broke the tackle and shout out to Isaiah and the other receivers. They kept fighting to give me an open lane to, to run for a touchdown. So that was a big play for us. And Alex gave me a chance and that's all I could ask for. Barry, after a loss like this and, you know, with the two and six starts of the season, how, how do you not get discouraged? How does this team not get down right now? Um, you can't feel sorry for yourself. Nobody else is. Um, we can't feel, for, can't feel sorry for ourselves. Um, you know, we're going on the road next week and um, everyone counts, everyone, everyone matters. And um, we just got to get to the fundamentals of football, not turning over the ball, penalties. Um, I feel like that, that hurt us a little bit today. And um, we just got to minimize the mistakes. Um, you know, we're not at the level where we can overcome too many mistakes. So, um, you know, that's the biggest thing going into this week. You got to play cleaner. Um, yeah, so. Hey, Terry, having the maybe the healthiest receiver room you guys have had in a little bit. Did you feel that difference? And, and, and I kind of wonder what, what you feel like that can set you guys up to do. I did, man. I was really happy to see Steve back out there. Uh, Cam had a big game. Isaiah made some plays. Um, we got some guys from the practice squad stepping up. So, you know, I'm just telling, trying to encourage them, you know, as a leader of the group, um, it's going to be a group effort. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to do what I can to try to take away some of the attention off of other guys and they got to make plays. And I feel like they did that today and we're only going to grow. Um, Steven's going to get back into the, to the, uh, the flow of the offense. And I know his opportunities are coming. Isaiah's ready. And, um, you know, we're going to get Don Trail back hopefully next week. And we got a lot of guys ready. And that's what it's about, um, having enough guys that you can rotate them and enough guys that, that can make plays and put stress on defense where you can't key on, you know, one thing or another. So um, I'm happy with the way we played this week as a unit. And uh, we just got to continue to build on that. Hey, Terry, where is Cam Sims better? Um, um, it's, almost, it's hard to ask where is he not better. Um, you know, the way he came into camp, um, I'm only know Cam for two years, but the way he came into camp this year, I had I knew he had a, a potential to have a, a great year if he got the opportunity. And what I respect most about Cam is he doesn't say much. Um, whether he gets the ball, whether he's blocking, where he's playing special teams, he's a dude who's willing to do the dirty work, whatever it takes for this team. And you know that that hits me right in my heart because that's the kind of guy I am. So I resonate with that. And um, the way he's making the most of his opportunities is only going to grow um, as the season progresses. And we're going to need him to keep continue to play better. So I'm really happy for him. All right, I'll take a couple more. Hey, Terry, with uh, obviously you being named the captain or voted the captain, I should say, earlier this week, we noticed you out there by yourself with a coin toss. Yeah. Somebody like you, it, it seems like that moment would mean a little something extra. Is that fair to say? Or? Um, I mean, it's, it's very surreal. It's, it's humbling. Um, you know, guys really blessed me to put me in a position uh, to be one of the leaders of this team. And, you know, I want to continue to grow and embrace that. Um, you know, to be selected as, by your teammates and your coaches as one of the leaders, especially in your second year. Um, you know, it's, it's very humbling for myself, but I just want to continue to do what I've done up until this point, continue to earn the respect, continue to earn their trust each and every week and, um, you know, help lead them as any way I can. So for Coach Rivera to allow me to go out there for the coin toss and, and represent our team, um, you know, that's, it feels really good. Hey, Terry. Terry, uh, what was it like to have fans out there today? 
Yeah, I mean, running out of the tunnel and, and seeing people out there was put a smile on my face, put a smile on all our faces to see our fans who have stuck by us through, you know, a tough off season, a long first part of the season. And, um, you know, see those people out there supporting us. Um, it feels good. And we just want to continue to work harder and, and put a, a good product on the field so it's something they could be proud of as fans. Um, so I hope that they keep supporting us, hope they keep um, coming. And um, it was great to see them out there today. And obviously you mentioned um, Alex, Kyle had to go down for Alex to yes. come in. What were your thoughts when you saw Kyle go down? And kind of what do you think about the position overall for the rest of for this team going forward this season? Yeah, that, that hurt uh, me because Kyle has been a guy who came in and was just trying to be ready for his moment. And, you know, he the last few weeks, he really began helping us get into a rhythm and he's been practicing well. Me and him have been forming a connection. So, I um, mean, you never want to see one of your teammates go down, but, um, you know, I'm going to check on them. Um, you know, going forward and just making sure that, you know, he's still a part of this team, no matter what his uh, rehab process is. And, um, you know, Alex is, is great to have him because he's played a lot of football for us. And, um, you know, he knows what it takes to put a full week of practice together and, and be a part of the game plan and execute. And, you know, I'm even encouraging Dwayne to be ready because, um, you know, I mean, he's, he's going to be next man up as well. So um, everybody has to be full, all hands on deck and, and be ready for their moment. You know, you know what I mean? So um, that's what we're looking to do going forward. And, um, you know, they have some great coaches in that room. So I know they're going to give us the best opportunity they can to help us win games. Harry, what is it like for you to um, go through so many different quarterback changes in only like a year and a half and have a kind of a rotating group of receivers around you? What sort of adjustments have you had to make, if any? Um, you know, it's it's a little bit of adversity, but I don't use it as, a, as an excuse at all. Um, no matter who's playing quarterback, um, my philosophy has always been, you know, as a receiver, I feel like my job is to make them as comfortable as possible. Um, they don't have to be perfect, but they could just try to give me an opportunity, give us an opportunity. Then it's on us as receivers to help them out and make some plays for them. 50-50 balls, those tough extra yards on uh, third down. Um, you know, that's that's what it's it's about. So that's the approach I've always take, taken. That's the approach I'm continue to take. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep trying to push to, to be the best receiver I can for those guys. And as far as the receivers go, I mean, um, you know, it's just it feels good to have so many guys getting their hand in the pot now and um, and contributing for our offense. So that's going to have to continue. Um, I'm getting some double teams and, and, and things of that nature. But, you know, it's not about me getting the ball, getting the touches. I just want to help us win. And that's how everybody feels. So I'm just going to continue to encourage our group to be ready for your moment. You don't know um, when your moment's going to come, but you got to be ready. And I feel like Cam did that. We got some guys who did that today and it's going to have to continue. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate you guys.